Hello, citizens of the world. It's your friendly neighborhood Superman here, ready to save the day and bring some excitement to your screens. Welcome to this awesome video, where we'll be diving into some mind-blowing content that will leave you on the edge of your seat. From cutting-edge technology to thrilling adventures, you won't want to miss a single moment of this action-packed ride. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be amazed. I know every week there is a new AI video tool that is a complete game-changer. This week there is another one that is mind-bending. Check this out, watch it. What? That's crazy. Look at this. It's insane. Today we're going to take a look at Wonder Studio from Wonder Dynamics, an AI tool that composes and animates CG characters into a live action scene. It offers a lot more than just that, including many professional level features. I'll cover all of that and let you know who's behind Wonder Dynamics, which I believe gives them an advantage in the AI video space. Here's their video and the link is below if you want to check it out with their voiceover. Let's take a closer look. This is the opening shot, which looks very professional and well shot. Here's their UI, where you can drag a character from the side and scrub through the timeline. You can also assign characters, which is interesting. Here's a render module. And wow, that's impressive. It's pretty crazy, but really nice. We'll take a closer look at the video, but I want to point out that this is browser-based and cloud-based AI. When I first saw the video, I thought it was an After Effects plugin, but it's not. It's browser-based. Now let's head back to the video and take a look. It seems that on this side, we have our uploaded video clips up to 2 minutes and 40 seconds, which is actually pretty good. Presumably, you can add more. You also have a library of assets here on a timeline that looks like Final Cut to me. You can add new clips and use character models on this side. At first, I thought it might be gimmicky since you can only use their provided character models, but it turns out that you can pretty much use anything. There's a lot you can do with this, and you can export as an MP4, while PNG sequences are available as an upgrade. You know, I mean again that they're not giving this away for free in ProRes files, so those are professional formats. Interesting, right? And then you can export individual elements, Blender scenes, camera tracking, camera pass. We're going to get into all of that in just a minute. That's it's crazy. The 3D rigging here looks really good. This is going to be a huge time saver for 3D artists. The facial recognition looks really crazy too. Look at that. That is so good. I wanted to come back to this. Check this out. This is really cool. Is you can actually see the actor's feet kicking up the sand here, so there's no trace of the actor. That's really nuts. But the clean plate is super crazy because at first I was like, did they shoot a clean plate for this? But how did they do that because it was handheld? But yeah, if, if you look when you switch over to that clean plate, you can actually see just a little bit of blur there where the actor was. That should show up hopefully in the YouTube video. But yeah, there's just a little bit happening there. So that is AI. Processed. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy good. So Wonder Studios is clearly aiming for filmmakers, content creators, and people working at a semi-professional to professional level. While the UI has a simplicity to it so that kids can pick it up and just start making YouTube shorts off of it, the back end of it can export into industry standards like Blender, Unreal, and Maya. It looks like there are depth maps in the lighting and composition tab. The face recognition looks really good, although a lot of that depends obviously on how well the model is rigged. But there's an interesting thing coming up in a minute on that part. It looks like the AI will recognize two characters in a scene. I did note that I haven't seen anything in this footage that shows two characters replaced with 3D characters in any one shot. So I don't know if that's something they haven't quite figured out yet. Hands. Mocap looks really good. Hands are always a thing that is notoriously tough with AI. Mid-journey, I'm looking at you. As far as character models, it looks like they have sort of these generic, kind of templated characters. But what's interesting is that it looks like maybe there will be an artist hub or artist community where 3D artists can create models and maybe sell them on some sort of marketplace. That said, according to Wonder Studios, we want artists to create their own. 
You get your FBX and your textures, and it's assembled on the platform just like you would import in Blender or Unreal or whatever else it is. Models can also be made available for purchase on the platform. So I think that there will be a marketplace aspect to Wonder Studios. It's interesting to take a look at who's behind Wonder Studios. It's a guy named Nikola Todorovich and Ty Sheridan. Ty Sheridan, you might remember, was the lead in Ready Player One. And on the advisory board, we have none other than Steven Spielberg and Joe Russo of the Russo Brothers. I guess his brother didn't join. It's just Joe Russo. Also Robert Schwab and Joshua Baer, which means that there's some good financial backing behind this. It looks like we'll be able to see Wonder Studios in action with the Russo Brothers' new Netflix adaptation of Stella and Stalin Hogg's The Electric Slate, since they used the technology in production on that film. Actually, I didn't know this movie was happening. I'm actually a big fan of Tales from the Loop, so yeah, this is cool. I'm excited to watch this. Wonder Studios is in closed beta right now. You can sign up to request access for it at the link that I have down below. I requested access. I don't know if they're interested in small-time YouTubers trying it out, but, you know, you never know. Give it a shot. You should give it a shot, too. And if you're interested in more AI information tools, you might want to check out this video that I did on Runway ML's Gen 1, which is coming up in just a second. Okay, take care, guys.